and I rise up. That is what I got to say, and I rise. I don't even know nothing about that song. So Welcome back, everyone. We are here with another beautiful, crisp, like a Sprite Sunday, <laughs> like a like a McDonald's Sprite Sunday. Welcome back, millennial gang. We are here on another day to have journey, gang. Welcome That's why back, Journey Gang. I sure was. <laughs> Welcome back, Journey Gang. We are here on this another Sunday, another Crip Sunday. Thank you for coming back. I feel like I am at a loss for words for some odd Every reason. Time. Stop touching my hair. Stop. Today we are recording from my iPhone XX. X. I'm recording from my iPhone, okay? Anyway, we're almost to 400 subscribers, so please continue to subscribe to our channel because why not? I mean, join the journey gang. We're almost there. Come on, come on, come on in the room. The journey's always gonna continue. Come on in the room. Come on. In anyway. The room. Mm -hmm. Come on in the room. Take it back to Union Bank. So if you couldn't tell by the title, which I don't know why, because I know my journey gang, I know y'all can read. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and react to a back in the day, Real Hot Swab of Atlanta, if y'all not familiar with Mama Joyce, mm. go back and watch the season. Mama Joyce, man. The impact she I'm made. not even going to get into all the nooks and crannies of Mama Joyce because if you know what I'm talking about, if this is a if you know, you know. You hurt already. It's one of those, you see Mama Joyce, she be like, here we go. Here we freaking go. So, here we go. Bro, please, bro. All right, starting now. How are you? Sisters. So, when she gets oh, here... Oh, yeah, I forgot about the sisters, too. They something else. I can only imagine, like, I really didn't even want to come, but, you know, I just came for candy. You all just in time. Come on back. Good. I just put her in her first wedding gown. Oh. I'm surprised she's coming. I don't know what she's coming for. Like, I don't really get it. Mm. The way I'm Oh, there's waiting. So this scene, this is back when Candy was first marry, marrying Todd. If you're not familiar with the show, I'm sorry, I can't go through the whole spiel. But anyway, Candy was getting ready to get married to Todd, who is going to be her soon-to-be husband, obviously. Go down. Mm -hmm. With Mama Joyce. So let's just continue watching. Freaking Mama Joyce. Have a seat. Look at you. You look cute. Thank you, darling. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. It's really interesting because, you know, Candy to me has always kind of like had a little tomboy side to her. So to see her pick out stuff that's like really frilly and long trains and stuff, that's like interesting. I, I didn't think that she would be, she would like stuff like that. But it's, it's cool. It ain't gonna wear it nowhere. And we're starting already. Mama Joyce, she ain't gonna wear it nowhere. Because this is a, back, a little backstory. Mama Joyce never likes anybody that Candy brings around. Whether that is a fiance, the only people she liked was her was Candy's daughter, of course, because that's her granddaughter. But she didn't like none of her fiancés because she was engaged previously. But you, if you know what happened, you know what happened. She was engaged previously. She didn't like him. She didn't. Now she engaged again. She don't like Todd, and then she don't like none of her friends. I think she likes the male friends of Candy's. Like you see, she was buddy mm -hmm. buddy with the one guy. But it's something with the she don't like them female friends of Candy's. And I don't know she, why. I don't know why she sits there and acts like that with them because they do they do nothing but help build Candy up. We know why. Because Mama Joyce don't want nobody taking, don't want nobody taking any shine away from her. And another woman, she feels it. She, she don't really got no shine. What kind of shine she really got? If you know how Candy treats her mom, you know you you would know. You don't really watch the show. Candy yeah. literally kisses the ground that her mom walks on. Okay. Yeah, but and, but yeah 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 yeah. yeah. You say she's not gonna wear it. <laughs> Mama, you not excited? About what? About the wedding. About what? Yeah, let she find somebody else to marry. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Okay. That is terrible. Why is it terrible? You know I'm better than anybody. Why would I know I'm better than anybody? Because you, you be around talking to him. I huh? The shenanigans starts. You be around talking to him. She works for Candy. She might interact with Candy's husband. She's going here to. And there. I mean, she's going to have to. Like she was her personal assistant, Even, right? Yes. So, so she's going to have to interact with Todd. Yeah, and it was kind of like 
they had interactions well on camera their interactions were like hey todd how are you today that's what it was like that's like you be talking to him yeah speaking not, when i work for not, her not hey todd you want a back massage yeah that's another real housewife boy man <laughs> that's another yeah <laughs> but anyway uh nobody sits there and like no one's doing that no. okay mama joyce no one's doing that like jeez around because i work with her and yeah. i see him right uh, yeah you talk to him you know him. what are you trying to imply what i ain't implying anything why what would I'm you say to... something like that because you are, why would i say something like yes that? why why do why do but not what i say because what everybody else say saying? it ain't why no you everybody so you are everybody sit your old behind <laughs> there sit your old behind down when somebody tell you about yourself you always think you have the no, right to get mad. What was you about to do? What was you about to do? Huh? What was you going to do? But, Girl. Sit down, Mama Joyce. See, this is the problem with old heads. You know, we got, we respect y'all. But when y'all start getting like, when you, when you want to come to my level and you, okay, so you want the energy then. You, you think of old person. And then, and then if Carmen had got physical with her, she would have, you hit elderly women, but you got buck with her first. I sure do. I sure do. I sure. Mama do. Joyce, see? Tell you something. I'm going to try my best yeah, to respect you. Better, you. you better uh, respect me. Mother. You better respect me. 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 Like you going to do something yeah, I, to I, me. We'll do something oh, oh, to oh, you. Oh, what is that? Just shut your mouth, right? No, stop. I don't know what the arguing is about. Boy. Why did you come? Stop. 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 Why did you come? Because I'm her friend and she because asked you, me to you come. Ain't nobody's friend. Mama. But I'm trying to figure out, that's a valid question. You're literally bashing the man that she's about to marry and she's trying on wedding dresses to marry that man. Why did you come? Why did you come? You don't like him, just so why being, would you come? Right, just being the mother is not enough. Oh, right. I'm the mom. Huh? That's not enough, sis. And I'm the papa. Like, you have to literally respect the person that your child is marrying why would you come participate just to cause drama? You might as well be like, you know what? I'm not really into him. I'm not really liking him. I don't agree with y'all marrying. So I'm just going to go ahead and sip this one out. That's because she loves the drama. But the drama, like, no one's doing that. She this is why I'm so happy. I'm so happy she's not on the new episodes now. Oh, yeah. Because this is all she brought. Every time Mama Joyce was in a scene, it was always drama. Whether it was with Todd, her uh, deceased fiancé. Or, or ex fiance and her friends. Like, Carmen's not on the show no more either. So, I guess Carmen felt like this was enough. She said, and at some point, as a viewer, you get tired of seeing. Because she was, like, she got, Carmen really got mad because she was spewing lies about her and Todd. You're saying that I'm always, you're insinuating that I'm always in his face or something. Like, and don't insinuate doing something that. Behind candy bag. Like, yeah. don't, don't, don't do that. We're don't here do with that. her trying to wedding dresses. Like, why are you insinuating because, that I'm talking to her man? Because if I'm being honest, that'll get you effed up. That, that'll get you effed up. Exactly. I don't care how old so, you are. Yeah. What the hell is going on? As soon as I get out the room, they're just at each other's throats. I don't even get right. started. I don't know. She is evil. She just jumped up like, nah, you my friend's mom. Like, she gon'. That is not. Hold on, real quick. What even happened? My, I believe if we rewind. I believe I saw Mama Joyce jump up first. She gonna say she jumped up and said, you my mom's friend, huh? Y'all really gonna sit there and lie to the money maker because the money maker is bringing in all the coins That's for y'all. That's what it is. I'm and telling she, you, Mama Joyce didn't like it. nobody who... She gives it to y'all. Y'all don't have to give nothing back. I'm telling you. Do something to Joyce. I ain't That's finna not... let her do nothing to Joyce. You ain't got to do nothing. You better, hey, you better get her. I, I don't know what. I don't know how it started. She she don't know. Yeah. What do you mean you don't know how it started? I mean, you ain't. You, we ain't. We ain't looking at the numbers. Some old leeches. Your sister just lied and said that Carmen was talking to Todd on a insinuating that they were had something deeper than a friendship. So what do you mean you don't know how this started? 
we looking at some old leeches and they feel threatened because people is coming around and they'll take the snake skin off. off, off but the thing eyes. is, I don't even know how you would even, and, and, and that's another thing. I'm trying to figure out how you even feel so intimidated by an by someone who's assisting your daughter. Candy's paying her bills. So why are you mad? She paying her and your bills. Exactly. What you talking about? And she, but she's paying her for a service. You only get, you get money because you're, you just happen to be related to Candy. You're her mom. So you automatically get money because you are the one who brought her into this world. Some Carmen, of y'all do. So some of yeah. y'all don't deserve it. But I'm talking about Candy. Candy mm -hmm. specifically. But I'm just saying Candy is paying Carmen for a service. Carmen not just sitting there looking cute, just being her friend and getting money. Be, and being in time. She's phase. actually working yes. for her. So, Yeah. Todd, you're not going to sit up there and try to insinuate that I got something going on with Todd. Yes, I'm yes. sick of her running around town telling people that they keep talking about they said. She is day. Okay. There is no day. Okay. You okay? Yeah, if I could hit that. Mama. Uh, this is starting off oh, all wrong. It's still, it's still Shut up. Look how beautiful that dress is. Ooh. My aunt doesn't like this one. What don't you like about it, Auntie? I don't like nothing about this. I don't like nothing about it. I don't like nothing about it. I'll try something else. Nothing about it. Please be nice. Why don't you go? I'm not going anywhere. You don't I'm not going anywhere. Sit down. So you're gonna, you, go you're gonna, oh, sorry. You're gonna cause yourself a massive health emergency. That's all I'm gonna say. And your bristle. You're gonna have a health emergency and you need to sit down. All because you tried to intimidate her and she said, I'm not going nowhere. Sit down. So now you tried to force a Before you break her. something. Okay? Like, wow. Yeah. What a loser. When did you want to do that? When did you start wanting to do all of this? I don't have to tell you. You keep talking to her. But you can't control yourself right now. Seriously. You just keep on sitting here running your mouth. Why don't you just leave? Sit down. But y'all start, Mama, no one's calm, no, well, the only guy, the guy's getting up trying to calm Mama Joyce down, but why are you talking about why don't you just leave, why you keep running your mouth? Because she popped off on me first, and I'm just supposed to, see, this is the problem, this is this new generation that, you know, that's here now, the new millennials, we don't do this. If you're, I don't care if you're somebody's grandma, I don't care if you're somebody's grandpa, if you disrespect me, you came to me with the energy first. I sat here and I was being respectful. You came to me with the energy and then I'm supposed to just bow down and leave now? Treat people the way you want to be treated. And that goes for all generations. That's my life model. Yeah, treat people, all generations out there, PSA, treat people the way you want to be treated. That's for every generation, okay? Because if somebody came popping off on you, I don't think you'd just be sitting there. Sure, you sure not wouldn't. Yeah, I don't leave. Stop talking well, to me. Why don't you leave? I have no problem not talking to her. Why don't you leave? Call for her. She go around yeah, and get candy's hair that's left over. That's what she do. Sit around there and catch whatever leftovers. Lady, I have like never she... got anybody's leftover hair in my life. Let's go. Forget it. I don't want to go no more. Don't worry about it. Leftover really hair. Really she really ruined the moment. But why is she gonna say that girl was getting her leftover hair? <laughs> what hmm? was she say? That wig you got on was she that leftover said... hair too? Was that was that from the from, from the prop from the uh to... from, from the costume closet? That wig you got on? She's gonna tell this girl that she getting all the you just over there getting all candy's leftovers. Oh, broomstick wig head have itself. Yeah, that's what you look like. Leftover shoes. I don't have hair any of her stuff. What do you come yeah. up with this stuff from? You were acting a fool. You said I was acting a fool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look whoa, at whoa, you. Whoa, 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 whoa,
hoped that they could have gotten along. What are we, why would she take her shoe? You want, first of all, Mama Joyce, if you really wanted to do something, you would have been. You would have just threw the shoe. You would have just threw the shoe at her. That's what I'm saying. Girl, you wasn't about it. You just you wanted to cause a scene in front of the cameras. Because if that shoe wanted to go flying, the shoe would have went flying. Trust me. Yeah, you just wanted to cause a ruckus. For what? For a little while. Sit down and put your shoes on. Because your heart beating off fast. Healthy so that I can, you know, have yeah. my first moment of trying on wedding dresses. Like, this is not the time for that. This is just, like, not cool. Uh -huh. You know, she not really in the mood. I'm not really in the mood no more. Nobody's really in the mood to look at dresses. Let me just say, this is when Candy's wigs were not... Her weaves and stuff were yeah. not. She look. She 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 good. Now, they all good now. Cause them them real housewives Atlanta checks was coming. I mean, Candy been had money, but whoever her stylist was, I'm glad that she fired them. I'll because say she looks way better. I'll say this: what Candy was doing right here, I didn't like it because I feel like I told you, Candy, Candy should have confronted her mom. And she say, kisses look, mom, the ground. I see. I I see how you feel, but just hearing what you're saying right here, I told you, talking about what you just said to her. None of that is true. So you need to stop that. But she didn't do none of that, of course. She just I let her mom you. do whatever she want, came up with an excuse, and let it and let us let it slide. I told you. If you know, you know. Candy kisses the ground. Now that is her mother. So I don't know the dynamic. I don't know the relationship and all that kind of stuff. If she wants to take care of her mom, that's her prerogative. Ain't nobody I'm not coming at that. I'm just saying that you still right is right and wrong is still wrong. Yes. That's all I'm saying. Look, if, if, if she had anything a class about she when I asked her to leave, this is a family thing, she would have gotten her sorry, no good ass up, Mama, and left. Mama, calm down. Calm down. Come on, child, one more time. Come on, on another time. Please. I don't like conflict, but if trying on another dress is going to help cool the room down, I'll try on another dress. Lord. See, that's exactly what that was. What? Just to control the manipulation. situation. Manipulation. Her mom knows how to manipulate, manipulate. What a loser. And manipulate. What a loser to me. Her mom knows how to manipulate a situation so bad. And that's the thing, like I said, if you know, you know, because Mama Joyce continued to do this for every season that Mama Joyce was in. Carmen, she had to go and do her thing. Mama Joyce had to go and do her thing. And now look. We're happy married we're all, family. We all out here living now. We all out here living. And I really think, um, I don't know whose decision it was. I don't know if it was a producer. I don't know if it was Mama Joyce. And I don't know if it was Candy. But somebody had to put a stop to this. Because when I tell you, and the sisters too, don't get the sisters there too. The old, they call them the OLG. They the old lady gang in Atlanta. And you see why. <laughs> yeah, anyway guys, please leave your comments if you know about Mama Joyce. Please yes. leave your comments on what you thought about this whole shenanigans debacle and whole, you know, debacle. Yeah, the whole uh, trying on dresses debacle. Like, what yeah. you think it is? Do you watch the season now? You know, do you like it now without Mama Joyce? Are you a Mama Joyce stan? Because some people might be out there a Mama Joyce stan for her. You know what I mean? We accept you too. You know, hey, that's your opinion that you got. I, you would have to deal with that, not me. Yeah, anyway, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Because you know, you need to be joining the journey gang. I don't know why you're watching this video and you haven't joined the journey gang. So what are you doing? This is how I talk like with hands. hands. They say when people talk with hands, that's what they mean. That's what they mean. Say people <laughs> I talk, talk with, with hands. hands. This is what it hands looks are like. going to be flying everywhere. Everywhere. Okay, we're not, we not voting. <laughs> we're, we're not voting. All right, y'all, we are out of here until next Sunday. Remember, the journey continues up.